Hi there. I'm Mark. I'm a construction worker. And this here is a construction site. Do you like diggers? You do? Great! Let's go watch some in action. But before we do, first, let's make sure we've got our helmets on. Safety first. And remember, never go to a construction site by yourself. Always make sure you're accompanied by an adult. Those machines you see here are excavators. They are used for picking up and moving really big things. They can also be used for clearing land and in demolition. Demolition is the fun part where we get to break stuff down, rip it apart, and make a really big mess. Now, you probably know that most excavators have a scoop, a great big shovel. But these ones don't. At least not today. Instead, these diggers have had their scoops removed and have had a special claw attached instead. The claw is called a grapple, a special word which means to grab. The grapple has four tines, just like a claw. The tines are on a hinge that can snap open and shut. Open and shut. These grapples here are even more special though. Do you know why? Because in between the grapple's tines, there's a magnet. The magnet gives the excavator even more grabbing power whenever it picks up a chunk of metal. The magnet can turn on and off. On and off. Remember, that grapple goes open and shut, on and off. Open and shut, on and off. Now, as you can see, that grapple, the claw, is attached to a great big metal arm that moves. That arm is called the boom. The boom is super strong. It's powered by a technology called hydraulics. We'll talk more about that later. Now, can you see the driver? I know he's hard to see. The boom and the grapple are controlled by a driver like me who sits in the driving compartment. We call the driving compartment the house. Though it's a pretty small house, I'll tell you. The neat part, though, is the driver can spin the house all the way around even in a complete circle. And he can turn it in both directions. Inside the house, there's controls, levers, buttons, and pedals. We use those controls to turn the house and to move all the different parts of the boom, as well as operate the magnetic grapple. Remember how the grapple goes? Open and shut, on and off. That's right, you've got it. Well, it takes a lot of practice, but eventually the driver can operate the boom and grapple as though it were an extension of his own hand. Wouldn't you like to eat your lunch with a boom and grapple? Oh yeah, before I forget, the part that the house sits on, that's called the undercarriage. The undercarriage has wheels on it. The wheels are covered by a thick tread for super gripping power. You know what? Now I think you know all the parts of the excavator. So now I'm going to tell you a little secret. How they make the boom and grapple move. Remember earlier when I mentioned hydraulics? That's the secret. The boom is connected to a bunch of hoses. The hoses only look tiny because the excavator is so big. Inside the hoses is a fluid, usually oil. That's why the hoses are called oil circuits. The driver operates the boom and grapple by controlling the flow of fluid. More fluid moves it one way, less fluid does the reverse. That's how hydraulics works. You almost never see it. But that's how those giant machines go. Thanks for watching with me today 
and learning about diggers. Maybe next time we'll look at some different machines. Bye! <laughs>